Hey guys, what's going on? EDC Blades here. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so this video, I'm going to do uh, my follow-up review for the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Uh, and then I have a box to open from a good friend of mine. But before that, uh, let's go over the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Um, so I keep calling it the Paramilitary 2. Uh, it's also known as the uh, Para 2 or the PM2. It's just, you know, one of those things you, uh, you got to be in the know, you know, to, to know. Uh, one of the things that kind of kept me away from Spyderco in the past was um, anytime I'd see a, a movie or whatever, they always kind of look very uh, dainty to me. And, uh, you know, like whoever was using it or, or, you know, anytime I thought about using one, I'd be like, man, that thing just looks like it's going to break right in half. And, you know, that can't be, that's, that couldn't be further from the truth. Uh, this thing is fantastic. It's hefty. It's stout. It's got a little weight to it. You know, not a ton, but it's, it's, it's super comfortable. It's, I mean, all the Spydercos I've had so far, you know, even the, uh, the $50 Efficient was a very sturdy, very, uh, comfortable knife. And, you know, and plenty of confidence that it would stand up to, uh, you know, some work. Uh, so for me, like most of my videos, most of the knives I unbox are for everyday carry, for everyday, you know, daily use. And I don't go out to the, the woods every day. I don't, you know, climb mountains every day. But I do unbox stuff a lot. Uh, open envelopes, cut twine, rope, whatever. Um, and... And this knife, it, it's probably too good for those jobs. But uh, for everyday carry, this thing's amazing. And I have nothing but confidence that, you know, going on a hike or, or a camping trip, this would definitely be a knife I would want on my side or in my pocket. Um, definitely worth the 168 bucks I paid for it. Um, you know, made in America. It's cool digital... Uh, digital camo grip uh, the texture like I said before it's 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 got a good abrasiveness it's not too abrasive it's, that you uh, it's not so abrasive that you need gloves um, but if you get wet hands or sweaty muddy bloody whatever it's uh, I, I think you're gonna be all right keeping a good grip on this thing uh, I did reverse the uh, pocket clip it was on the uh, tip downside I like a tip up so I switched it. it took me a minute maybe two I don't know um, just a t7 screw and then uh, no time at all no problem uh, definitely a cool knife makes me want to get more spider codes I might try out a pair of three just just to compare them you know because I got this one because it looked like it was a little heavier a little bigger and uh, the pair of three looks just a little bit smaller and lighter. So maybe I'll get one, try it out, and see if uh, how the two compare. But uh, I really, really enjoyed this uh, Paramilitary 2 by Spyderco. All right. On to the unboxing. So a couple months ago, my friend was going on a uh, camping, hiking, kayaking, fishing trip. And uh, we were talking about what knife he was going to be taking with him. And he has, he has a uh, Gerber LMF2 uh, that he was taking. And uh, he had a couple complaints about it. Um, mostly about the weight, the, uh, the uh, size, and the, um, how it carries. Like, you know, you can only carry it one way. And uh, so in talking, I, uh, I suggested he carry my SE3. Um, it's just a you know really test it out for me and uh, see what he thought of it and so uh, I shipped it out to him and uh, uh, my friend is a very smart man and he, he uses a lot of big words so uh, if you notice a lot of editing in this video it's because uh, I have to look up the uh, pronunciations oh yeah when I when I sent it to him I also sent the uh, I had just gotten the Armatus uh, horizontal carry sheath. I sent him uh, that and the original sheath just so he had different uh, carry options, mounting options. Let's see how it looks. 
Yeah. It's a sweet knife. I love this thing. I couldn't tell you how much I paid for it. I uh, just looking up some SEs on Blade HQ. They're about 110 bucks. Um, this is one of my favorites. One of my first real cool knives uh, that I got. You know, before I even started the channel, uh, the sheath is very cool. Um, this one I did have to heat it up and cut it a little bit just so that it would fit better. So I had to like carve out a little bit of the. Uh, the sheath right there, but fits nice, holds nice. Um, all right, so he sent his letter. Let's get that out of the way. Dear EDC Blades, thank you for the opportunity and allowing me to review your SE3 for a camping weekend. Since you sent it, uh, since you sent it down early with both sheaths, it gave me a chance to carry the knife in both sheaths around my land. To determine which was best. I found myself drawn to the uh, Armadus sheath due to its slimmer profile and easier scout carry. I found, my, uh, I found the knife just stuck up too much to comf comfortably carry tipped down on my belt and I too dislike knives around my neck. Uh, the Armadus sheath was overall better suited for a scout carry. The knife went with me on a river for three days while piloting a canoe loaded down with camping gear. Here, I actually carried it tip up on my PFD, uh, personal float device. On water, it was solely used for cutting fishing line, which it did perfectly fine. My buddy actually commented on how sharp the thing, uh, the thing was, as you only needed to lightly press the line against the blade to sever it. I was a bit worried about carrying the knife tip up on the water, but the sheath held, in, uh, held it in just fine. I felt secure the entire time, uh, and with the positive click from the sheath, you knew it, it was locked in. The sheath also featured a small thumb mount, which aided in pulling the knife from the sheath. This allowed me to take it out uh, very easily and do what needed to be done. The thumb mount was also uh, the thumb mount also served as a hook to pull it back in and get the uh, solid click. It's a great design. The G10 handle performed great in wet conditions and stayed securely in my hand. At camp, I used the knife for a couple different things and put it through its paces. It was used in fire starting, whittling, and cooking. For fire starting, it began in creating a pile of kindling from an oak plank. The sharp blade sliced consistently through the wood fibers. The handle to blade ratio was perfect to allowing a decent amount of force in the blade, but left you with plenty of control for an even cut. If you need more force, if you needed more force, you could slide your thumb up the stippling uh, on the back of the blade and really bear into it. This all allowed me to quickly create a pile of tender kindling. For larger pieces of kindling, I actually used the knife uh, to split wood. I was a bit cautious at first, but then quickly realized this knife was up to it. I could set it, I could set it into the top of the plank, then hammer it straight down through with another piece of wood, and it would leave a consistent length of medium kindling. The full tang blade really helped in the uh, helped it in being able to take a beating. The wood did scuff, but not scratch the finish on the blade, which made me a bit disappointed in taking the beauty away from this blade. Knives are meant to be used though, so I guess it gives it some character. After lighting a fire, I cleaned it off and of course used it to prepare any food I needed to chop or slice for cooking. It still had a nice sharp edge after the abuse it took from the fire. All in all, I would be very happy with one of these knives. I think it is the perfect size for a camp or outdoor knife. For EDC, I think it would be too big for me, and I also prefer folders that uh, for that type of carry. I'm considering purchasing one of these for myself, and the Armada Sheath will have to go along with it. Perfect combination. I find just holding the knife a satisfying experience. I have a medium-sized hand, and the handle fits very comfortably. The balance of the knife is slightly toward the handle, but you can feel the weight in the blade beyond your hand. It is a solid knife, and I would say it is worth the money. All right, so, um, what did he say? Three-day trip in a canoe, you know, cutting food, cutting uh, wood, cutting fishing line. Um, still has a very nice sharp edge. This is, like I said, SE makes some great knives, 1095 steel. Um, 
but this is one of my favorites. I, I do sometimes think about getting something bigger, you know, like a uh, the five, maybe even the six. But I mean, I feel like for an EDC, like he said, this is a little bit larger than I would like for an EDC. Um, but for camping, hiking, I feel like this is just about perfect. Or even for like a, uh, if you're going to have a dedicated knife just for your vehicle, I don't, I don't see why you wouldn't use this other than maybe you wouldn't get to use it very often. So this really is a cool knife. I like it a lot. It is one of my favorites. I'm glad that my friend uh, could take it out for a couple days, you know, get some experience with it. Put it through its paces like it's designed to do. I'm glad he could, you know, he felt comfortable with batoning with it, um, uh, chopping some wood with it, and, uh, you know, just everything a, a fixed blade knife like this is meant to do. And I'm glad it held up. You know, I, I was very confident that it would, but, you know, I, I had never really, other than maybe whittling some wood with it, hadn't really tested it too much. Um, so I'm glad, you know, the knife got out, got to experience the world even though it wasn't with me. Um, all right, I appreciate everybody's time. Thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to comment below. Um, if you don't mind helping out the channels, hitting that subscribe and like buttons. Uh, I hope everybody has a great day, and uh, thanks again for watching.